after starting pdms we can launch pipe router by giving command call your space asd router into the command line of the pdms this will open our pipe router suite we can provide the project name and we have an exclusion list in which we can add the specific site or zone whose obstruction we do not want to create now as we have 3d model directly from the ptms we are ready to out automatically route the pipes our next requirement would be the line list the line list contains connectivity information it is a simple ascii file which can be generated by a system very easily here we have line list template in here unit code fluid code and sequence number makes up a line id our line list template is directly linked to the equipment list and has associated keywords in the pull down menu all the nozzle ids are available in the line list for the user to select in the start or end type the line list template is also linked to the line list so that the line from the line list in the pull down menu for header can be selected and its associated keyword is branch user can also specify whether line starts or end at the battery limit and by selecting a pipe rack location and the keyword battery we can provide the input for the line starting or ending at the battery line specification like nominal dia could be provided spec information is available in the spec pipe spec dot dat file insulation can be provided or it could be given as a minus 1 so that router will directly calculate automatically based on the temperature service type of the pipe should be provided temperature and pressure option are optional and this is how entry of any line into the line list is done next step would be to enter the component for the lines you can add component for any line through our component list template this template is linked to our line list directly and it list all the lines into the drop down menu we can select a line and a component that needs to be placed during routing these are the type of valves it could be manually operated or the motor operated we can also decide whether valve should be placed at the start or end we can also locate the valve by giving exact three coordinates and save it similarly other components like t and reducer can be added through the component list to route the pipe we use full batch route full batch route is divided into the four steps first step is define environment this will load 3d model environment into the database second is input generation this will read line list equipment list and component list and also check for the input and generates its report third step is to create a batch file
here user could select a group of line or all lines to create a batch clicking on sequencing will sequence the lines as per its material cost diameter and temperature basically it routes most expensive line first clicking on submit button will start the batch routing So here we can see our load database has already been completed and batch routing has already been started.
So once our batch routing is finished, we can now go to pipe zone and generate our PML macros. Selecting the batch and clicking on OK button will start our PDMS macro generation. As soon as PML generation is completed, all the pipes will be displayed on the PDMS layout window. These are the pipes and these are its components. After generation of PML, we can now go to generate MTO. We can generate our MTO based on our distance for center to center, which is with the part dis uh, length of part, and the actual, which is without part. We can also generate MTO as per the line summary or the plant summary which is respected to spec and the third is material summary. We can add PNID number and remarks to our MTO report. We could also include the cost data in our MTO report. We can give the units in which we want to generate our MTO in. We can also generate our region MTO by providing the specific coordinates of an area. We can also generate MTO report in Excel file. Our MTO report will give us count for number of bands used, number of branches, number of walls and the number of reducer used in the model. It also gives the total length used on rack and off rack. this report in simple ASCII format so it is very easy to customize the MTO report as per the requirement of the user.